Kung nahihirapan yung nanay mo sa pagsagot ng homeworks mo, sa math, sa chemistry, sa physics, or any branch of science man yan, nako, panoorin mo, tapusin mo rin yung video na to, tapos i-share mo na rin sa nanay mo, or i-chisimis mo na rin sa kanya, kasi napakalaking tulong to para sa pag-solve at mas mapadali yung pag-solve mo ng mga problems na yon at maging 10 out of 10 ka sa iyong mga homeworks. So, ano ang video na to? So, this video will talk mostly about Wolfram Alpha. Bago tayo magsimula, ilike mo ng video na to because one like equals one prayer at para na rin sa ating YouTube algorithm. Una mong gagawin ay pupunta ka sa wolframalpha.com at mapupunta ka dito sa landing page na merong logo ng Wolfram Alpha tapos yung input and then yung list kung ano yung pwede mong gawin sa loob ng application na to. So first, we need to talk about Sino nga ba ang creators ng Wolfram Alpha at anong ginagawa nito? Sino nga ba ang gumawa ng Wolfram Alpha? So from the website itself, sinasaad dito na nanggaling ito sa mga makers ng Wolfram Language and Mathematica. So Wolfram Language is a programming language and environment na dinevelop ng Wolfram Research. So next is yung Wolfram Mathematica. This is a software system with built-in libraries for several areas of technical computing which includes machine learning, statistics, symbolic computation, NLP, and etc. So I believe na yung Wolfram language, uh, this powers yung Wolfram Alpha. So ito yung language na ginagamit behind the scene. So let's deal more kung ano yung ginagawa ni Wolfram Alpha. So Wolfram Alpha is a computational knowledge or a computational Engine. So, kaya nang mag-compute gamit yung uh, expert level answers from Wolfram's algorithms, knowledge base, and AI technology. So, kaya nang mag-solve para sa'yo. Kaya napakaganda niyang gawin para sa mga homeworks and assignments and isang nitong hack para ma-ace mo yung mga assignments mo. Okay, now let's dive in kung anong kaya nang gawin nitong Wolfram Alpha. So, right off the start, pwede ka nang mag uh, enter dito sa input no kung ano yung gusto mo so enter what you want or you want you want to calculate so it can be basic uh, addition so for example 1 plus 1 so meron pa mga search dito na lalabas or baka shortcut na rin sa maari mong gawin so this is uh, powered by Wolfram language and yung AI technology nila so i think this is coming off from that, no? So, yung mga results dito. Skip muna natin yan. And tignan natin yung nasa ilalim. So, it can do mathematics, science and technology. Yung sabi ko kanina, it can do physics, chemistry, and other uh, branches of science. Meron ka society and culture and everyday life. So, yun yung kagandahan ni Wolfram Alpha. So, hindi lang siya nagdi-deal with mathematics itself or alone. It can do as well physics, uh, iba't ibang branches ng science. Tapos, pwede ka rin mag-search uh, for people, for places, uh, about society, about history, and your everyday life. Now, let's try and check some of the topics dito. So, unahin muna natin yung elementary math under the mathematics category. So, ilan naman to sa kaya niyang gawin? Merong arithmetic, merong fractions, merong percentages, merong place value, and merong mathematical word problem at meron ding number type arithmetic. So, syempre, uh, let's deal with the basics first. So, you can do basic arithmetic like addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. So, ayan, makikita mo dito yung mga examples. So, kaya na rin mag square root kung gusto mo. Sa fractions, kaya na rin mag add, mag multiply, and mag divide ng mga fractions. So, makita mo rin dito merong percentages. Paano natin ito try to? So, we can just click an example dito para itry siya. So, automatic pag sinelect mo, uh, maglalagay siya dito sa ating input box. So, makita mo dito merong natural language, merong math input. So, try natin uh, isa-isahin. So, for natural language, makita mo yung input mo which is 125 plus 375, so the result will be 500. So, kagandahan dito, ipapakita niya kung paano iyon na-solve. So, gagamitan niya ng number line para meron ding visual representation or para matuto yung nagsi-search or nagko-compute dito kung paano ito uh, ipaplat kung gamit yung number line. Next, it will search also the related queries para sa binigay mong input dito. And the result is also having a number name. So, makita mo dito, 125 plus 375, the result will be 500. And pinapakita niya rin yung number name. To explain more about this natural language, so para ka lang, 
lagi pag communicate sa isang chatbot pwede ka magsulat ng english words dito so as you can see merong enter what you want to calculate or know about so you can say subtract 100 from 1000 so pag nandiyan yung input mo yung query mo at select mo yung natural language just click this compute input ayan tapos maglo-load yan and ipapakita na yung step or yung result dito sa ibaba at ayan na nga, nakita mo dito yung power niya kasi na-misspell natin yung subtract. So, subtract. So, nakita niya interpreting subtract as subtract. So, dito na pumapasok yung AI technology na nasa. Diba? Napakagaling. So, makita mo dito yung input, 1,000 minus 100. So, the result will be 900. Tsaka, meron kang number line. And meron siyang number name. And then, yung percentage of decrease. So, meron siyang additional na mga information about dun sa ginawa mong process. So, 1,000 minus 100 equals 900 is 10% smaller than 1,000. Aside from that, there's one unique feature dito. Kung makikita mo, meron siyang button dito na step-by-step -step solution. So, i-click mo lang to, And then, ipapakita niya kung paano mo ito isosolve. Pero, ang problem lang you will have this feature if you will unlock the pro version. So, I think meron itong bayad para step-by-step -step solution. So, for now, we'll do the ones that are free. Ngayon na tapos na tayo sa natural language. Discuss naman natin kung ano itong math input. So, pag linik natin yan, makita mo yung iba't ibang math operations. So, meron ka dyan fraction, meron kang power, meron kang square root, meron kang cube root, and many more. So, ayan o. Pag clinic ko to, meron pa yung options dyan. Makakita mo na lang. For example, ito, merong radian, merong degree, merong sine, cosine, tangent. Ayan, mga second. Ayan, cosecant. Ayan. So, nandito lahat sila. So, ito try natin ngayon yung math input. So, for example, we have a fraction. Click mo lang to. And lalabas to sa input natin. Tapos, i-fill lang natin yung numerator at yung denominator. So, for example, we have 100 over 5. So, i-compute na yan. So, click mo yung compute input and then lalabas na sa ilalim ulit yung result. So, ayan, input 100 over 5. So, that basically means 100 divided by 5. So, the exact result will be 20. Makita mo sa number line, makita mo sa illustration, yung number name and then yung visual representation. So, try natin yung iba. Try natin yung power. So, delete muna natin. Ayan. And then, click mo yung power. Tapos, eto, yung base mo. For example, let's say 2 to the power of uh, 5. So, that means 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Okay? So, compute. And makita mo dito, the result will be 32. So, bakit 32? So, 2 times 2, 4 times 2, 8 times 2, 16. And the last one is times 2 ulit which will become 32. So, meron ka result, meron ka number line, meron ka number name, meron ka visual representation. So, what if gusto mong i-combine? Oh, Pwedeng-pwede yan dito. So, let's say na meron kang addition sa gilid. So, let's say meron kang 100 plus uh, 200. Tapos, gusto mong mag-minus ka dito. Uh, for example, minus 50. Tapos, add ko tong 2 to the power of 5. So, pwede yan dito sa Wolfram Alpha. So, compute mo lang ulit kasi siya nang bahala na mag-compute para sa'yo. At kitita mo naman, sobrang bilis ng result. So, andyan ka agad yan. So, kung gusto mo validate pwede kang kumuha ng calculator para compute to. So, gawin natin. So, alam naman natin na merong PEMDAS, ba? So, mauna talaga yung addition kaysa sa subtraction dito. Tsaka yung parenthesis. So, what do you think will come first here? So, I think it will be itong power na to. So, 2 to the power of 5 will be 32. So, subtract tayo. 200 minus 50 will be 150. Diba? So, 100 plus 150 will be 250 plus 32 sa end natin. So, that will result to 282. So, tama yung mental computation natin. So, palakpakan natin ng ating mga sarili. And, and, and alam natin yung basics ni Wolfram Alpha when it comes to elementary math. Sabi mo kanina, hindi lang siya about mathematics, but it can do science and technology as well. So, unahin muna natin yung units and measures. So, ayun, makita mo yung iba't ibang topics na pwede nang i-cover. So, first, let's try yung mga basic lang. So, let's do 120 meters dito. So, makita mo na kaagad na kapag nag-type ka lang ng uh, 120 meters, makita mo na yung interpretations niya. 
magbibigay din siya ng conversion. So, into feet, into yards, miles, or even kilometers, and other useful information na pwede mong gamitin dito sa ilalim. Next naman is yung physics and chemistry. So, hindi ako mag dito ng example, but ipapakita ko sa inyo ano yung mga topics niya. So, it can have mechanics, oscillations and waves, mga thermodynamics, electricity and magnetism, statistical physics, optics, relativity, nuclear physics, quantum physics, Bush! hindi ko na alam. Ang sakit na sa ulo. Pero explore nito guys kung mahilig kayo mag-solve or mag-compute. So, babalik ako. For chemistry naman, you will have as well chemical elements, molecules, chemical ions, chemical quantities, chemical solutions, thermodynamics, reactions, and many more. So, yun yung mga topics na ayaw na ayaw ng mga IT guys. So, next one is engineering. So, merong aerospace, energy data, um, electrical engineering, control systems, mechanical engineering, sev civil, civil engineering, fluid mechanics, sound and acoustics, steam tables, and many more. So guys, for an IT student, this is too much. No, too much na to para sa amin. So, punta nyo na lang. So, meron din computational sciences kung mahilig kayo dito. Ayan, mga automata, image processing, hashing, ayan, related sa IT, computational complexity, ayan. So, i-check out nyo na lang. So, next will be society and culture. So, let's say, na hindi ayaw mo mag-compute, ayaw mo ng engineering, ayaw mo ng chemical or chemistry, pupunta ka dito ngayon sa history. So, pwedeng-pwede yan. Ayan, historical numbers, historical periods, ayan, US money, genealogy, military conflicts, lahat na. So, let's say, na dito sa Wolfram Alpha, hindi ka magkakalculate, but you will search for that certain uh, topic. So, let's say, what is the highest mountain in the Philippines. So, tingnan natin kung maalam niya. ba? So, enter lang natin and let's see kung makita niya. So, assuming highest mountain, ayan, and ayan yung result. Mount Apo. Tapos, meron siyang exact height nito. So, yun yung kagandahan dito kasi hindi lang math, hindi lang puro computations, kundi uh, meron ding uh, information about geography, history, and people. So, yun. At dito na nga nagtatapos yung ating video. So, i-like mo na to at i-share mo na rin. Tsaka i-chases mo na rin sa nanay mo para marunong siya sumagot ng homework mo.